It's a pretty day for February. We're just trimming rose bushes. And I'm gonna start raking out all this undergrowth. And we trim the butterfly bush here. And yeah, just getting ready for spring. Looks like we need more um, bark this year, so I'll have to go get some more bark. So I know I'm really pushing the limits of what my season is capable of, but I will show you what I'm doing today. So today I'm going to start inside um, some greens. I'm trying to get my greens bed going. So outside I have it covered to warm up the soil. It's also a raised bed and I do have um, some fleece I'll be able to put on it for frost protection. So I'm giving it a shot. I think these two will be just fine, these Asian greens, Tetsoi, and this one. Um, they are extremely cold hardy, but I'm also going to give it a shot with some collards and some lettuce. And then I also found that I had um, broccoli rapini, so I'm going to start some of these two and see if they'll come up like my um, other broccoli. So I'll let you know how it turns out. Um, if it's too early, that, and then it's too early, and I'll just have to start again. It's a beautiful snowy day. We got four or five inches in the last two days. Very cold, but look how pretty the sun is shining. But, uh, we are going to do a little bit of gardening today. Let me show you what we got going on. So I'm going to be potting up these guys. A lot of them have four leaves, so they're ready. So right now they're in just um, seedling mix, which doesn't have nutrients. They don't need it yet, but I am going to pot them up with some organic potting soil and bigger trays so that they can get their roots going. And I'm going to start giving them a little bit of uh, fish, fish emulsion when I um, water them. So let's see what we got here. This is the lettuce. There's two kinds. They're doing really, really good. Um, I have some collard greens, which I seriously hope take off. There is broccoli rapini and then this whole tray is broccoli a uh, little bit of spinach that didn't germinate as well i might restart some more of that and then these two rows here are um japanese greens tatsoi and um chichimisai they did really really well these guys will be fine outside too even if it's chilly so i have a covered greens bed um and in a couple weeks they'll go out there. But broccoli's looking okay. It's t it is, um, oh, it's kind of leggy. I've got the lights right on them, but it just must not be enough. And then over here, very leggy, I have uh, that Katerina cabbage, and then this is Red Express. Um, so I'm gonna pot those up. Hopefully we can save them. And then these are green onions that have sprouted doing pretty good so yeah I might start a couple more things here for succession sewing and pot them up and put them back in the window so I filled up my pots with slightly moist potting mix um, that I mixed in a bucket that is definitely an outdoor activity should have done that outside but it's freezing so I got my vacuum ready over there and we're good to go. I'm gonna label before I prick them out because I'm very forgetful and I don't wanna mix things up, but this whole tray is gonna be broccoli, so I'm just gonna put it right in the middle there. And so I have a chopstick here somewhere. 
There it is. And I'm going to gently, gently prick this little guy out. Being very careful with his roots. There you go. Ooh, kind of leggy. And then I'm going to make a little divot and press him into the good soil. So since these uh, pots have been gently um, moistened, it'll begin the wicking process and I can just fill the trays up from the bottom and it'll, it'll lift the moisture up. Seedlings will do it. So broccoli is one of the only plants that likes to be firmly pressed in. Um, so I'm going to do that as I go. Okay, I don't remember this from last year, but I'm going to show you the difference between starting in the 72 cell hex packs, which are made, they say they do roots three times better than starting um, like in a six cell or a four cell. Look at the difference. These are both broccoli. Here's the six cell on the right. Here's the 72 cell hex pack. Like, I am stunned. The plants on top look this, you know, pretty much the same. But, um, wow, this is serious about getting the root system going. So, just had to show you guys that. Here we are, everybody's potted out. I used an entire bag of potting soil, surprised me. And I uh, had to run out into the backyard in the snow and find some more pots. I always reuse these six cell pots I buy flowers in. And I am gonna have to dig up another light because this is not enough. But there you go, all potted up. So they'll be in here for a few weeks and then they'll go out to the garden. And I'm gonna give them a very mild fertilizer um, in their water um, a couple times, give them a little boost. But yeah, there's a big greens bed in the making right here. And I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and subscribe. We need to make it to a thousand subscribers. So go ahead and mash that button.